O2 exercise is working on the files. So the first handout file is uh, just to reinforce using your object snap in conjunction, in conjunction with your running snap s and to develop some speed. So you need to think about what you should set uh, to do this quickly and use your enter to restart your command. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. This one, draw one foot vertical lines that snap to endpoints of the red lines. Well, if we have our running snap on, this is really easy. Click, move your mouse to lock in, 12, and I've just typed in the 12 using my left hand. I'm going to enter on the number pad, that's where I am, enter, enter to end it, enter to begin it click and move up, 12, enter, 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 12, enter, enter, enter. That's what I want you to do is uh, see how fast you can do these. When you get down here, you're going to snap to the midpoints. So to do this the, the most quickly, we need to come into O snap and turn on the midpoint snap. Go into our line command and do a midpoint snap. Uh, move your mouse to lock into 90, and again, 12, enter, 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 click, move up, 12, enter, 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 click, move up, 12, enter, 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 and so on. This one, uh, we need to use a nearest snap. Usually we never have nearest on, but for this task, it's a good idea to go and turn it on. So, you can see nearest is going to hook you up to that line. I'll just show you, hook you up to the line so that there's no little gap. It's uh, snapped onto the line. So, get into your line command, hook onto the line, move up, 12, enter, 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 and so on. See how fast you can do it. Whoops, did that one wrong. Okay, this one here, draw vertical lines that start at the top and finish at the bottom. So, you know, I can come in here and utilize, let's say, nearest and perpendicular. And turn off those two and start the line command. Click, click, enter, 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 enter. I think we have a different pattern here. Click, click, enter to end it, enter to begin it. So there's only two enters this time. Click, click, enter, enter, click, click, enter, enter. And I have one hand on uh, my keyboard and I have my other hand on my mouse. And if you get used to doing that, you can go a whole lot faster. So that is uh, exercise 20. Let's go to exercise 21. Same idea here. Just utilize your running snap. Um, to do these exercises. I'll just do this one down here. See I have a nearest running and I need to snap to a quadrant point. I'm going to take nearest off and put quadrant on and then here's a quadrant point. Four foot, enter, enter, enter. There's a quadrant location. You can see that it's a diamond uh, when it's a quadrant snap. Click. I'm better off to do 48 because that is four feet and I don't have to type any symbol. Enter, 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 and so on. Okay, this is going to use an intersection snap, so that's the X is the cursor when you've got that right. So you're going to do those, uh, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, next one. Let's do number 23. It's just a little bit um, utilizing this snap. Don't use this so much, but uh, I guess you should know about it. It says uh, to utilize it to help draw this, so let's do that. Let's come into Grid and go into our settings. Now I can quickly draw this line by just setting this at 36. 36. And actually, I can even click OK, and this one's going to change, but I like to do it that way. Now, turn the grid on and the snap on. I'm going to 
go into my line command, and I'm at dot to dot here. One, two, three, four, five, enter. Okay, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to set a six inch, six, six. Okay, go into my line command. I can quickly put in one, two, three, four, enter, enter, and six, and I'm done. No, one more line right here. <laughs> I have uh, two lines on there, I think. Hold on. Click, click, enter. You know what? I'm coming in here. I'm turning this one off and my end point on. One, two, enter, enter. Okay, now this is pulling me to my end point. I'm coming over here saying snap to one for this one turn and that's going to let my snap point be the dominant snap and override that end point and over to there. Done. Close it. You can save them on your M drive in a folder called O2 Concepts with your name on it because they will get handed in. Okay, that's number 24. Uh, you know what? You need to be in a white background for these, I'm sure. Colors, white, apply and close. Okay. Yeah, you can see there's a lot more information here. So calculate the area for each shape. Now some of these are polylines and are made up of line segments like this. And some of these are rectangles. And you can see the difference when you move your cursor over them. The red ones are rectangles. So You'll need to do them different ways. The ones that are rectangles, I want to find the area. The rectangle is an object, so O for object, enter. It asks you select the object, this one, and there's your answer. So you can uh, control C, copy that, and come over here and right click and paste and click one more time and there's your answer. To get the area when you have lines, you click the area. It says specify first corner point. Make sure your snap is on. Click one, two, three, four, and then it tells you down in your command prompt next corner point or press enter for total. I'm ready for my total so I press the enter key and I can come and copy and paste my answer. Okay, number 25. Measure the distance of the red lines using the distance icon. Okay, so right here, from this point to this point is this distance. Make sure that your command line is showing uh, a little bit higher than just two because the answer is right there. So you can copy and paste that. Okay, uh, that was number 26. Draw the lines using the distance shown. The first one's done for you. Click the icon, move the line and lock into zero, and you simply type in 15 full whole inches and then we need a dash to show that we're about to put in a fraction. We don't need the inch symbol and you enter and enter to finish your line and go on to the next one. Close that. Okay, number 27. Draw polygons in the rectangle. So it's telling you how many sides and it's telling you the radius. Click your polygon, click into the center of the circle. It asks you how many sides. You tell it, I want six sides, and enter. Uh, specify center of polygon or edge. Sorry, this is where you click into the circle. And then you tell it inscribed is what we want. And that's the default as shown in these brackets. So I just enter. And then I give it the radius, which is what it's asking for. The radius, as you can see, is 3 feet right there. I'm just going to type in 36 and enter, and you're done. So continue 
on with that. Okay, number 28. Rectangles. Draw the rectangles beside the dimension shown. It tells you how to do it. Click the rectangle icon, click on the screen, type D for dimensions, and press enter. Or you can actually press the spacebar if you'd prefer. Then, the first, when it asks for length, it's asking for the X. So 5 feet, enter. The width is actually means the Y, 1 foot, enter. And the last click is what lands the rectangle. So you can do those. This one here, again, you're doing the same thing. Rectangle command. First corner point, we're going to start here. Uh, the dimensions, D for dimensions, enter. Two feet is the width, and enter. Height is four feet, enter. And the last one lands it, so I just want you to land it in the yellow area. And number. Oh, let's do this offset one that we have open right here. Offset the entities four inches. Okay, I want to take this object and I want to offset. And it's saying, tell me the distance. So the red entities, the distance is four inches. So I type in four, enter. And now it's asking me, what side do you want me to offset this to? Do you want it up here or down here? So if I click up here, it puts a duplicate line at that specified distance. Okay, then let's do one green entity. Now select object to offset. You can do a whole bunch in a row. So just pick a side, any side you prefer. And the green ones, okay, this is what I want to offset. Tell me the distance. Okay, there's the distance for the green is 10. Enter. Specify point uh, on the side to offset. So I can offset this rectangle in the middle or I could have offset it to the outside. You pick one and that's good. Okay, and the help feature. So go into your help. It seems to not like this Camtasia so I can't do it for you. Um, go into your help. Go into the index. It tells you uh, click on the index tab then type in the keyword shown in red in the question. Click the display button. The answers are found in the concept tab.